and welcome to the Channeled Self Podcast. My name is Mahatma Ray. I am a conscious vocal channel, spiritual, intuitive, extra dimensional ambassador, and friend to all. My uh, mission and the purpose of this podcast is to reawaken as many people to the memory of who they really are, which is that you are an immensely, immensely powerful cosmic and divine being of light. You have the ability to command and shape your reality, to create for and with your fellow man, to love endlessly and abundantly without any effort. We have the ability to change and evolve who we are right now into our next iteration, albeit the originally intended iteration of humankind. It is time, my friends, to usher in the new reality built on the back of the fifth, sixth, and seventh dimensions. We have graduated. Most of us here right now are are done with the third dimensional vibrations. And those of you who are attracted to this podcast and the words coming out of my mouth are the creators of our next evolution. You are a creator. But you have been programmed and distracted and tricked into thinking you are small and weak and at the mercy of those who have been in control of the earth for so long now. That was their goal. But that world is no more. Their games and charades will only last so much longer, especially if you, the immensely powerful being of light, remember who the heck you are. Remember your vastness your power, your heritage, your inherent right to be free. With the assistance of all the light workers who have incarnated on this earth over the past few decades, in collaboration with our galactic families and Mother Earth, we have shifted the vibration of this planet into the beginning stages of the new earth the fifth, sixth, and seventh dimensional Earth. We're the pioneers now. Every single last one of you drawn to this podcast. And we have the utmost privilege of rethinking and reimagining the world we want to live in moving forward. By tearing down All of the old, outdated systems, the shitty rules, the program narratives that no longer serve the new, peaceful, fifth dimensional plus collective. We have the distinct honor of recreating the world we wish to see by living in it right now. We can create from an enlightened place of healing acceptance, and unlimited abundance that truly exists, despite probably the greatest propaganda initiative in the history of our universe telling us otherwise. Sounds like a lot. Maybe I'm coming in a little hot. But hopefully you can hear the passion in my voice. Hopefully you can hear that through my channeling work, I've reached out and touched the very vibrations that I'm describing. Hopefully, you'd like to go there with me and live there with your families and birth that reality with me. Well, if I haven't lost you yet, and uh, if you can't already tell, this podcast is for those who are fully into the uh, quote-unquote woo We are going to be diving full force into the woo deep end of the pool, my friends. But don't worry, if you're new to the woo, or not all the way out of the woo closet yet, or even brand new to the woo, hopefully at the very least this sounds intriguing. And not in the, well, she may be mentally unstable kind of way. (laughs) 
I promise this is a safe environment. And uh, everybody seeking an expanded perspective are welcome. Some of you just may need a seatbelt. Anyway, why am I here? Why me? How can I speak with such veracity about the things that I'm saying right now? Well, as I said, I'm a conscious vocal channel. And for those of you who are wondering what that means, basically, I raise my vibration to the point at which I can communicate with entities residing in other higher dimensions. These entities can be spirit in nature, as most of our guide teams are, or they can be extra dimensional or extraterrestrial. I prefer the term extra dimensional to extraterrestrial. I find it a, a bit less stereotypical. I think the whole extraterrestrial term has been a bit hijacked by propaganda, and it has a tendency to lean towards not so kind of an interpretation. So I'll be using the term extra dimensional instead of extraterrestrial. Anyway, after I realized that I had an ability to channel these entities, uh, soon after that, I came to realize that I was able to channel my own self, my higher self, one of the higher dimensional versions of my own consciousness, and even channel and speak with my own soul. Through that absolutely incredible experience, I came to understand that part of my soul's desire for this lifetime and part of my greater mission through incarnation on the earth was to rediscover not only the possibility of this type of communication and integration of it, but the concept that we as humans are all really supposed to be functioning this way. This work has led to some amazing developments in my personal life and a really expanded understanding of my own personal greater purpose, life itself, where we as humans fit into the universal equation, and so many other wonderful things I intend to expand upon along the way throughout this podcast. These expanded perspectives have been such a blessing. And as I said, I truly believe that this was our intended design as human beings. We're all supposed to be channeling and grounding our higher selves into these bodies and living in an unlocked reality. I want to, and I am being called to share this information so you can break out of any box you may feel trapped in and be free. And every person that accomplishes this will add to the army of an immensely powerful being of light group contributing to the creation of the new earth, the free earth, the fully abundant earth. I can hear some of you saying, well, that sounds great, but how do I do that? Well, that is the exact purpose of this podcast, so stay tuned. In the meantime, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about my journey. I began learning to channel several years ago, and this was a conscious choice, and it did take several years of study in a class with my mentor and friends. It took time and dedication and daily practice. I started off by communicating with my own spirit team, mainly through meditation and things like automatic writing or asking them to move my right or left thumbs to indicate a yes or no answer. So inviting them to move my physical body in ways that I could glean their answers to my questions. and. This eventually led to a near constant telepathic communication with them. And then that evolved into the ability to vocally channel them through some call it a blended state. So I'm half conscious, half in a meditative state. And then after communication with my guides evolved to a certain point, 
I began to be able to communicate with extra dimensional beings and different collective consciousness groups out in the universe. And with their further assistance in my expansion, I found I was not only able but called to communicate directly with the guide teams of others and and to do that in order to help them initiate and facilitate their path to learning to channel for their own selves. I'll do a a little shameless plug here, help pay, pay the bills, keep the lights on. Um, you can check out my website, which is mahatmaray.com. That's M-A-H-A-T-M-A-R-A-Y dot com um, to book a private session with me to learn about your guide team and ask some questions, to get their perspective about your goals or where you're stuck, um, to learn about your galactic lineage, connect with extra dimensional beings or collectives, or get more direct guidance on developing your superpowers like channeling and healing, manifestation, commanding your reality. As I said, establishing the connection to your guide team and higher self truly leads to unbelievable growth, expansion, healing, abundance. Now that being said, you obviously do not need to book a session with me to achieve any of this. My intention is to offer all of that information for free through this podcast at some point. But if you want an accelerator course or a little extra help, I do have sessions available. My hope with this podcast is that a lot of what we talk about here will be about the ways and processes for undoing the programming put in place, which was and is designed to distract us from our innate God-given abilities, like channeling, and how to regain this skill along with the others that I've mentioned. If you consider yourself awake, right, meaning you're into the woo, you are learning about the woo, you know we're not alone in the universe, that there are many other layers to existence, so on. Okay. Well, the next step on that journey is remembering who you are. Remembering that the power doesn't exist outside of you. You are the power. Remembering your vastness. Remembering that there are parts of you that exist in other dimensions in tandem with this current life experience. Think of it like a rainbow. This separated form of your consciousness, i.e. this lifetime, is like the red stripe on a rainbow. But you're not just a red stripe, baby. You are that entire rainbow. And the other aspects of yourself exist across space and time in other dimensions, some of them more aware of the other stripes than others. But you signed up to be a red stripe, agreeing to have an earthly experience, agreeing to have the memory of your full rainbow form wiped. You signed up and took this big, beautiful, massive rainbow of an existence and had to cut part of it off, and then shove the other huge part down into this lower dimensional reality and into a vessel the size of a thimble. I don't know about you, but when I first heard the word ascension, I used to think about it through the lens of meditation and leaving my body, eventually joining the fourth, fifth, six dimensions and beyond by having my consciousness literally rise out of my body through meditation and entire dimensions. And it feels like that. But this is actually kind of backwards. The point 
is to expand our thimble into a cup and then a pitcher and then a bucket and then a bathtub. You, you get where I'm going with this. The, the point is not to escape the thimble to experience our vastness again, but to expand our current container to hold and embody our vastness onto the earth. By doing the work, quote unquote, that is so often talked about, you are making your container bigger. You are making room for the higher dimensional versions of yourself in this body. It's not about ascending up and away. It's about ascending our container's vibration and then integrating the higher versions of our consciousness into that container and grounding those vibrations here. I'll give you a channel quote from Spirit regarding um, some of the things I just talked about and why we do the work of trauma healing and trigger dissolving, all the learning. Spirit said to me one day, Your higher self cannot exist in a space where it is not fully loved. Understanding and integration of all the perceived parts of self the perceived good with the perceived bad is required. Integration of the higher self is the ascension, and only together will you exist in the higher dimensions. So your higher self cannot exist in a space where it is not fully loved. This is why we are called to do the quote-unquote work. Each step of that work unlocks more of our current conscious ability to love and accept ourselves. And as we progress in those learning processes, those acceptance processes, our vibrations rise and our lives become less dense and less taxing because we are beginning to exist on a higher dimensional frequency. And we are all capable of this in this current lifetime, in your current physical form. We have simply been duped, my friends, our whole lives. And for tens of thousands of years before that, the reconnection with and reintegration of Your higher self is probably one of the topics I am most excited to cover. Probably you can hear that in my voice. Most, most passionate about because there is so much information to cover around this subject. And it is really the key to unlocking the creation and manifestation of the new earth that we are all going to be a part of building. It's not just about each individual's personal ascension and the ways in which grounding our higher selves will unlock so many of those amazing superpowers like commanding your reality and understanding abundance and even healing your physical and emotional bodies. But it's also about humanity's ascension path as well. Our collective next steps as a race It's about our outdated constructs and the fact that there are now some new expanded perspectives that we are ready to receive for the first time and begin to integrate. So if you haven't caught on to it at this point, no one is coming to save us. It's going to be us doing the work. Um, transforming ourselves first and in this transformation and evolution of self will unfold the transformation and evolution of the new earth. If you can learn to channel, you can receive some wildly incredible information from the higher dimensions. How do you think we got 
a lot of our scientific breakthroughs and technologies. And think about all the things we don't even know exist because they're locked up and being kept secret by those who have been in control here for so long. But we, as regular people, can circumnavigate that. I'm going to say that again for the kids in the back. You can change that because you are powerful. And so much more so than the quote-unquote they would like you to know. You have the power to tap into knowledge beyond your wildest dreams. Knowledge you don't need, quote-unquote, their permission to get. Knowledge that can transform the way we live. I'm talking about free energy, propulsionless flight, teleportation, total healing and longevity. All of the things that only currently exist in movies. Most of the people that brought us our newest technological advancements weren't intentionally or consciously channeling that information. But that's how a lot of it was received. That little voice in the back of your head that you hear in the shower that gives you that great idea, or the dream that you had last night that unlocked a piece of that puzzle you'd been working on for a long time, those aren't coincidences. That is your egoic mind relaxing for just long enough that your spirit team can contact you. Can you imagine what we would have If each of us could tap into our expanded consciousness at will, our innate talents, our skills, our interests, if we had clear and unfettered access to our own limitless intelligence, which exists in other dimensions, this is the new earth, my friends, and we can all be a part of creating it. Most of the glimpses into technology and advancement that I have been granted are literally leaps and bounds over what currently exists. It looks like a science fiction novel. But that's not to say that it's not entirely possible to create right now. Most of us still have a conscious vibration that exists in the third dimension. And so we continue to create things from the third dimension based on the necessities and laws of that dimension. Now, however, that there's a lot of us beginning to raise our vibrations, we are beginning to receive technologies and advancements that are necessary and in correlation with existence on those higher dimensions. I'm going to say that again. If your consciousness vibrates in the third dimension, that is what you will continue to create. If you grab the reins and do this work and remember who you freaking are, you will begin to vibrate in the fifth dimension and beyond. And just inherently, what you create will be a product of your new nature. And we all know that golden rule. What you put out, you get back. So what you receive will also be born of that higher dimensional vibration. We are going to create the new earth first by joining the vibration individually. And then by birthing it into the reality. And each of us will contribute to it from that new, higher dimensional space. I touched on this a little bit before, but one of the other topics I will be discussing a lot on this podcast is our extra-dimensional friends, meaning those incarnate entities who exist in our universe across all known dimensions and are all kinds of different races Um, and they exist both physically and non-physically, whom we definitely have the ability to communicate with. I know what you're thinking. 
I'm sorry. Did she just say aliens are real? And yes, I did. Might be time for some of you to put on that seatbelt. There has been so much purposeful disinformation put into the programming and narratives throughout our lifetimes here on Earth. An absolute smear campaign to create fear and derision between us and extra-dimensional, extraterrestrial beings. But most extra-dimensional beings are our friends. And yes, I, I will say most, because there are some that are in service to self rather than in service to others, and we'll go more in depth on that in a later podcast. But the entities and collective consciousness groups in service to others can be some of our absolute greatest teachers if we let them. I myself have learned uh, an immense deal from them, and they have assisted me with things like physical health issues. They've tuned up my energetic body through meditations in order for me to accept higher vibrations, and they've even opened up and cleaned up some of the ports in my brain that allow me to channel on different frequencies. So, of course, they quote unquote, meaning the powers that be, but are dwindling, want to scare the ever living heck out of us about them. They want to keep you as far away as possible from these beings because they know that the majority of these beings seek only a loving, service oriented connection with us. They only seek to share their divine wisdom and assistance, which would circumnavigate a lot of the powers that currently exist. They do not want you to know about the power that you hold, and they do not want you to know about your ability to communicate with beings outside of this planet and this dimension that can assist us in breaking free. I can hear some of you say, well, if that's true, then why aren't they here already? Well, that's a tricky question. One, because they already are. And as you begin to do more of this work, you will be able to spot them more clearly. But for now, most of them remain a silent and invisible partner. And two, because they can't just land in the middle of Times Square, because not only would that actually break a number of the universal laws, and we'll touch more on those later as well, but it would scare the ever-living heck out of most of us and probably start some sort of conflict. I will say, however, I have noticed in my interactions recently, that they have started to communicate with individuals on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And I believe that they're doing this in order to help break down the stereotypes that have been placed in our media and begin to get human beings used to their vibration and their frequencies of love and peace in preparation for their eventual integration onto our planet and into our society, which I personally believe will happen probably within the next 15 years. Because we're moving fast, people. We're picking up speed. And that's part of the reason why I label myself as an extra-dimensional ambassador. I have had personal experiences, and many of my closest friends have now as well. We are their ambassadors. We have to be. And we can speak from our experience and tell those of you amongst us who have not yet had the pleasure of an introduction that it is in fact okay. And if you do find yourself in a situation 
where you're being contacted, you may have less of a knee-jerk reaction to shutting it down. And nine times out of ten, these entities will connect with your heart center first, and you will feel an overwhelming sense of unconditional love and peace. And you'll ride that wave into the realization of who you're communicating with or what you're seeing and the vibration that they are exuding will be so calming that there will be no room for you to have fear. That, that's the way that it happened for me and that's the way that I've heard a lot of the other experiences going. So it's not you wake up at 3 a.m., and there's somebody standing at the foot of your bed, that's not how they roll because they won't break the universal law of consent. So they will first seek to communicate with your mind or your heart and send out a loving vibration. And then once they have that kind of relaxed consent, they will continue on and and introduce themselves more fully. If you do ever find yourself being scared or surprised, please remember that you have a lot of power. You have the control in the situation, and you can always ask them to leave, and they must abide. So you own your power, you stand in your power, and you say, I am uncomfortable, and I want you to leave now. And they have to abide. So I look forward to providing um, a lot more information about them in the coming episodes, as well as possibly even real-time vocal channel one of them, or multiples of them, on this podcast. Acting as both the interviewer and the channel for the interviewee may be a little clunky at first, but I think I'm going to give it a whirl. I also plan on channeling, obviously, the spiritual entities and groups that I work with, um, possibly even arranging with a few of my clients to share their live sessions, something like that. There's just so much amazing and totally different information received in each session that it's staggering. Um, There's just so much content that I I cannot wait to share. You know, you know what? Actually, I'm going to try and channel a bit right now. I'm going to see who comes through. And uh, I'm always amazed at how absolutely perfect Spirit's timing is. So I'm going to take a minute and tap in and see if they have anything to share. I'll be right back. We are here with you. We wish to give our greatest thanks and appreciation for both you, our channel, and to the audience who chooses to listen to your messages. As we have created a bond with you and seek through that bond to begin to work with others so that they may seek to understand their more expanded versions of self, just as you have stated. We are so proud and appreciative of you sharing this message, and we wish each of you who hears it to concentrate on the ways in which you can expand your ability to 
receive and hold the higher vibrations and how you can begin, how you can choose to live your life in and through these expanded realities and perspectives. We understand that for some of you, this may seem as far away as the last star in the universe, but we promise that we are not as far as you think. We are right next to you, and we always have been, and we always will be, and all it takes is for you to set the intention to communicate with us, and we will walk with you hand in hand down the path through all the types of communication that this channel has spoken about leading to the communication, reconnection, reestablishing of your higher self vibration. We are overjoyed, overjoyed. We have, <laughs> we have sent chills through the body of the channel with our excitement. And we suspect that we have done so for many of you listening at this moment. And if that is the case, we encourage you to understand that those vibrations come not only from your central nervous system, but from your guides. They are standing with you. They are as close as they can be to you right now because of the words that we speak. Their ears have been perked like a cat's, and they are as overjoyed as we are that you would choose to even contemplate a deeper connection with them and the reconnection to your higher source, your higher self source. We look forward to speaking with you on this and many more topics in the coming days, weeks, months, years as you understand time, though it does not work that way exactly for us. We all love you. We all are so very proud of you and commend you for this life you have chosen and these people you are choosing to be and choosing to become. We are so excited to be of assistance to you in any way that we can, and we are so thankful and grateful for your experiences and for your acceptance and trust for us. We feel complete with this message. Thank you. We love you. Amazing. That was lovely. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure if I was going to channel on the first episode, but I'm really glad that I did. I know that they mentioned um, getting chills, and I, I did certainly feel it. And hopefully maybe you did too. Hopefully that was a nice little introduction to one of my guides 
and I'm hoping that the audio comes out well. I know that sometimes Spirit speaks a little quietly, so if there's a word or two that gets dropped or it's a lighter tone than the rest of the podcast, I hope that you can forgive me. I will continue to work on better ways to capture that audio as as we move forward. Before I wrap this up, um, I'm going to go ahead and answer one of my more frequently asked questions, which is, what's with the name? Um, Obviously, Mahatma Ray isn't my government name, so I'll give you the story of how I received it. When I was first starting my business as a channeler and a spiritual intuitive, I was going back and forth, kind of discussing with spirit about whether or not to use my real name. I also thought about using my soul's name, which is actually a really personal and powerful piece of information. So I decided against that, even though I really like it. And after some time and thought, spirit eventually said, well, why don't you just use the name that we call you? And I was like, what do you call me? And they said, well, we call you Mahatma Ray, meaning one who speaks clearly through a ray of light. Now, I about fell off my chair when they said that because the only Mahatma I knew of was Gandhi. And I knew that that was an earned and like very prestigious moniker or title. So I was thinking, no, surely that they misspoke because that happens. Sometimes they pick a word out of my vocab and then they need to try again. (laughs) And Spirit was like, well, yeah, it's powerful, but it's just a name. And this made me laugh because we as human beings tend to assign so much importance and hierarchy to names. And it was weird for me to use such a formal sounding name at first, but it's become pretty normal now. So please refrain from attaching any sort of grandeur to it. I am not trying to make any statements or raise myself above anyone else with this title. I view it now as, as Spirit said, it, it's just a name. Okay, I've been talking for long enough, I think, for the first one. I hope that what I've said makes some sort of sense and that you're excited or at least intrigued by what I might have to say next. And I truly hope that you choose to join me on the rest of this adventure. Okay, um, where can you find me? My website, mahatmaray.com, for more information and for links to all my other socials. And of course, for booking personal sessions. I am on both Instagram and TikTok at mahatmaray33. That's the number 33, not 33 spelled out. And this podcast will be available on all major distributors as well as on my YouTube channel, which is also Mahatma Ray and linked through my website. So until next time, my friends, may you overflow with the spirits of love, joy, and peace. Oh,